<laughs> so I'm having a chat with Joel and Aaron of Amity Affliction. How are you guys? I'm good, thank you. Good, mate. Yeah, thanks. Good. Uh, you're here at Slam Dunk. How was earlier today? How was yesterday? Earlier today was a van trip <laughs> from uh, Sheffield. Yesterday was excellent. But the, the, the ride to the festival yesterday was not great. He caught uh, a train because our, our van just mysteriously broke down. So we were in a, a what, a, a coupe? <laughs> yeah, we were in a coop. Nice. It wasn't great. It took about, well, three hours to get there. An hour drive. Yeah, their driver went to the wrong entrance. It was it was all happening. What a great day. But the set yesterday was... The really set good, was that. fucking hot, man. We were staring right into the sun. Yeah, I felt bad for the people in the crowd because it was a real hot one. It was, <laughs> it was a stinker. But yeah, they, yeah. Weren't really, they weren't very lively. <laughs> oh. Shame, but they were uh, singing loud. This, it was good. Yeah, it was good, very good. good. Yeah. Um, now, sadly, over the last couple of years, we've been in a pandemic and a lockdown and quarantining, which was a, a big shame. But you kept busy and you even wrote an EP in that time. So tell us about the EP that came out. Um, yeah, we just wanted to keep, you know, relevant. Put out some some music <laughs> for the people who are you know, enduring the lockdowns, just like we were. And yeah, we ended up doing three songs. <clears throat> let's say uh, let's do an EP instead. So. Um, yeah, we originally only wanted to record two songs, yeah. um, but we did three, and then uh, we've got you know almost another ten songs to uh, record a new album. Brilliant! So we'll be doing uh, that when we get home. Good, pretty that's, much post haste. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, fantastic. Is it going to be along the similar s- kind of sounding vibes as, as what you've done previously? Yeah, yep. Pretty pretty heavy this time. Uh, you know, a lot lot more heavier in general, I guess. Yeah, because you've kind of delved into the lighter, heavier side and the heavy stuff as well. And I think when I interviewed you before, you said you, you like the heavy stuff yeah. kind of most of all. Is that why you're kind of keeping it heavy? I think so. Yeah, it's more fun to play live. More fun to that's, I think that's what happened. We realised it's more fun to actually perform. Yeah, we want to have pits again, you know. <laughs> yeah. People can't pit to feels like I'm dying. But they still they give it a shot. <laughs> they'll Dude. still try, won't they? Uh, but people will pit to all fucked up. It's insane. Yeah. Good. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> is that what goes through your head when you're writing? Is are they gonna gonna mosh to this track? I or? mean, yeah. If we're writing a mosh part, we'll go. Okay, what's a good one liner for this? You know. Yeah. That's a heavy breakdown. People will pit to this. And, you know. <laughs> it's kind of just a happy accident, but yeah, those parts are written for. Crowd reaction, crowd participation, all that. And that's what you vibe off as well. That's For that's sure. what makes yeah. you kind of... We're a live band. Fine. We tour constantly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, now, obviously, Slam Dunk kind of kicks off a festival season. What's the plan for the rest of the summer? You, you got more in the pipeline? Nope, touring nothing. No? We came over here just for these two shows, and then we go home, record an album. We were going to go to Russia, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Yeah. Things are not great. <laughs> not a good look. No, no. Not at all, no, no. But uh, yeah, t- touring-wise, I'm sure that'll kind of kick off at the end of this year into the the full time. Where, where are you hoping kind of to be at the end of this year? We already know where we're going, so we're coming back here, of course. Yep. Um, I think that gets announced soon, but we're back in America, <laughs> August, September into October, and then three weeks of Europe and the UK in October. But yeah, we have got uh, a bunch of. I think we we start off in Cologne, maybe play two two German shows and then we do a full run of uh, the UK yeah I don't know exactly where it's like uh, Leeds Manchester London Bristol probably some other shithole <laughs> Norwich Milton Keynes. yeah some, there's always like that one in there that kind of just doesn't yeah. quite fit go play under a bridge in Portishead or something <laughs> three goats and um, yeah, and obviously you've, you've guys have been around for quite a while and you've toured a lot of places, but is there anywhere that you haven't been to before that you kind of want to kind of tick off the bucket list at some point? I, wouldn't, I just want to set foot in Africa just so I can... Then I'll, can be, you know, I've done all seven continents. Yeah. But no, there's not really... I'd like to go back to Japan again. Yeah. It's nice. We want to play uh, Alaska one day. Yeah, we want to play Alaska real bad, even though that's only that's America, but yeah. it's fucking Alaska. So we keep. Do they do much out. over there? I don't know much Fuck about no. Alaska. We've played like two hundred goats or something. <laughs> I think yeah, serial killers and oil pipes. And all where all the criminals go to hide. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get away. Yeah. Cool. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very a much. Up. Can't wait for the new record. Me too. Thanks so much. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, mate.